see the spark in it so that means hey this spark plug is good so if we wasn't getting no spark then you know we would know it was welcome back to another episode of we rebuilds today we got a new tool so the sponsor of this video today is Ansel. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about this new tool that they just sent me. It is a spark plug tester, right? I just pull it out of the package. Even though I just pull it out of the package, I'm gonna open it with y'all for the first time because I didn't open it. So I just ran and got my camera, but what I should have did was seen, did the video when I got it from the mail. But anyways, we ain't worried about that. So what you see here, they have a small white box. Oh, so this is the charger that we have right here. So we got a charger right here. Uh, so we got the spark plug tester right here, as you can see it. So this is the spark plug tester. And we do have, I want to say it's the manual. Yeah, so you do have everything. So you have your spark plug tester. I guess all, everything that's on it, your warnings and your instructions on how to use this thing. So they put it in the package. First thing I'd like to say is, maybe it's because it's the first time I'm seeing one, but I like how it looks. Uh, you can see that you could turn up, turn up the range because you have it from 500. A thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, and six thousand. So it goes up a lot. I want to say from what what I'm thinking is, each time you put a spark plug in, then a light will show right here. Or, and then once you turn on power, you know that power is on in the middle, right there. So that is good. They also gave you a cover, and they make sure to tell you, do not test unless the protective cover is closed. So I mean, that's you know a fear warning they give to all of us so but it closes easy it opens easy so that that is good right here at the side this is where you would plug your charger in and then inside i don't know if y'all could see it but inside there's also another piece where the spark plug um the top of the spark plug will be connected to down there i mean it's a good tool um it's my first time having one so it's a good thing that they end up sending us one what I could do, I don't have a spark plug right now to test it on, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the charger in, uh, plug it in the wall, and then see, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. And then we go from there. And then I might have to try to find a way to get a spark plug either out of this Audi or take one out of the, the Ford Escape. So let's plug it in the wall and see what happens. So as you can see, nothing is happening right now. The minute that you turn the knob, you see that power light comes in and lets you know, hey, it is active. Now, if I had a spark plug now, then that would have basically been the icing on the cake. We had us plug the spark plugs in and then we could see what's going on. And you also have a, another light in, in the charger right there that lets you know, hey, you're getting power. So it should be basically retrieving power as well. What I'm gonna do in the next few moments, I'm gonna see if I could dig up and see if I can find either some spark plugs laying around somewhere. If I can, if I can't find any spark plugs laying around, then I will, we'll just take one from the, out of the Audi engine or we take it out of the Ford Escape engine. So we'll do one out of the two. But uh, give me a few minutes and then let's see if we could do that real quick. What I got going on right here. I'm removing one of the spark plugs out of the out of the Ford Escape engine, and then we're gonna use it to test that um that tester. See how good it is. Well, yeah, this is the engine that we just took out of the Ford Escape a couple days ago. So. We'll see if it's, you know. Okay, so see the spark plug. Now let's go get the tester and go from there. 
All right, so we're back over here again before I plug it in. So this is how you would have put the spark plug in. You just, and then you hear that click. You already know it's in there. Now, why don't we check this to make sure our light's there, see that we have power. So they say, remember to close it, right? So we're gonna close it, put it down. See, just in case if anything goes wrong. But anyways, see? So we turn it on and you hear the sound and then you could see the light. So that means it's going off one, but it basically both of them lights up, right? And then I hope y'all could hear that sound. And then if you look, you could see that spark. So I could turn it up to 3000 and then you see it, that the, the spark is there. Uh, let me see if I could zoom you guys in. All right, so now I want to see if I could see if y'all could see it that way. If y'all could see the spark, it's see the spark in it so that means hey this spark plug is good so if we wasn't getting no spark then you know we would know it wasn't it's not good so uh, let me do it again and then you could hear the sound now they did say don't uh, make sure keeping it closed but I'm gonna open it and see if the sound is even louder or anything yeah So the sound is the sound is actually a little bit louder, but I want to say when it's closed, I want to say you you hear it better. So I hope y'all getting a good view of it, because I know I have the lights in the background, but you can see these two lights light lit up to let you know hey it's in on or whatever. So, it's not hot or anything, and you can see that is the Ford logo. So this is the one that we just took off that um, Ford Escape. This only has, that spark plug should only have 44,000 miles on it. Um, thank y'all again, Ansel, for giving me this product so I could show it to y'all as the viewers, and I mean, as you can see, it's just a simple tool. I know it's also on sale on Amazon currently, right now. So go get yourself one if you need it. I like this tool and it's just something simple. So like say if you had a, say your number two, you wasn't having no, um, your no, number two cylinder is misfiring. You know, it's either going to be your coils or it's going to be your spark plug. And you know, you can just pop one of those spark plugs out, put it in that tester and just make sure your spark plug works. Or if you get new ones, you want to test them to make sure it works before you do all the work by putting everything in, button everything up, and then the car still can't start. So, anyways, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you don't forget to turn your post notifications on because we're always dropping content like this. We have a whole bunch of content that's going on. So, don't forget to do that and make sure you hit um, that all so you can get every single notification what whatsoever that we are here dropping on the channel but anyways stay positive stay motivated and guess what we are out